It's not the end of the world. Hey Airsofters, it's Leah the Airsoft Unicorn and I just wanted to address a few things since there's there's a lot of videos out right now about SB199, there's lots of opinions about it. Since I posted my rant earlier, I just wanted to address a few things now that the bill has passed and I want to make sure everyone's on the same page as far as how it's going to affect you. In a sense, honestly, mm, not really going to do anything. Like. When I posted the first video, that was when it was the most serious and it was before the amendments had been made. Before the amendments had been made, the whole deal was that if it got passed, then all guns would have to be brightly colored. Thanks to some great lobbying from the airsoft side, we were able to come to a compromise with Senator DeLeon and break it down to basically a few things. So. Um, now, basically what the bill entails is it's basically just going to work in California. Honestly, it's basically just going to work like your orange tip law. So in order to sell a gun, they are going to have to have brightly colored trigger guard. There is going to have, and then there will have to be two centimeters of brightly colored tape on the stock, the pistol grip, or the mag. So it doesn't have to be all three. It will have to be two of those, um, depending on how the retailer wants to spin it. Again, this is going to be adhesive tape, so it is removable. And if you buy a gun based from California, your gun is not going to come with any of them. If it does come with anything brightly colored on it, it will be removable uh, and you'll be able to operate your gun just like normal. Um, the main thing that I wanted to talk about that has the most significance, in my opinion, and I kind of wanted to wait to see what some of the bigger players were saying before I said anything, but to my understanding, this bill honestly isn't going to have a lot of effect on us because, like I said, it's going to be the same as our orange tip law. If you look on the Airsoft GI live show, which I'll have a link in the description, their CEO, Walter, came on and told us basically the history behind it and how it was going to affect them. He also came out and straight up said, you can take the, orange, the adhesive tape off because it's going to work just like the orange chip law. So if you get in trouble, if you are out carrying it, um, like you're not supposed to be again if you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing you're going to get in trouble but if you take the orange if you take the tip the if you take the tape off I'll do that again if you take the tape off then you can still play with it at legal fields so it's going to be just like the orange tip law now you do need to transfer it just like it's a real firearm and if you get in trouble, just like without the orange chip, you will get in trouble for it being a replica firearm. So California Airsofters, that's how it's going to affect you. The rest of you out there, this bill honestly is not going to affect you at all now that they have amended the bill. So that's good news for everyone that it's really not going to affect you if you don't live in California. If you do live in California, the good news is, like I just said, I just recapped that for you. The second thing is, is that all of your guns that you currently have are grandfathered in, so they don't have to follow any of these requirements. This bill is only aimed at guns that are sold in California after 2016. Now, if you want some more information behind this bill, I would highly recommend going to Airsoftology, checking out Jonathan's video. He gave a lot of great information about the background of this bill, about all of the politics that are behind it. So if you have tons of questions about why didn't the stores do this, why didn't they do that, go to Jonathan's page. He's got a lot of great information. I'll have the link in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Hope that was helpful. Bye.